and welcome back to Two Minute Teas with TP. I'm Teresa Pan, and it is far too hot for tea, so I'm still enjoying some nice, cool tap water with you today. I want to talk to you about a very common consult that I see in my allergy clinic, and that is when patients come in and they are interested in finding out whether they are or are not allergic to their own specific animal. Now, I definitely have skin testing extracts to a variety of household pets, but I always counsel my patients beforehand because I want them to know that my skin tested animals are not 100% accurate. I will always choose the patient's own real world clinical experience over what I see on skin testing any day. Now, if someone says, every time I touch a cat, I sneeze, every time a cat, time a cat walks by, I sneeze, the cat comes closer, I sneeze more, then that cements a diagnosis for me, absolutely. The reason for testing is not really to confirm the diagnosis, but to see if I can offer a specific therapeutic option. Meaning, if you have a clinical history of symptoms to an animal, and you have positive skin testing to that specific animal, then you have a better chance of responding to the cure that that same company manufactures. Because when you think of an animal, there's a lot to an animal that you could be allergic to, including the saliva, the dander, the pelt, the hair, the fur, and so on and so forth. The extracts and the injection cures that are based on the extracts, again, do not include the totality of that animal experience. So, bottom line again, the diagnosis of an animal allergy is pretty clear based on the history of what happens alone. And number two, skin testing is important to see if you react to how that company manufactures that animal to see if you would then benefit from a series of injections to help desensitize you to that animal. I hope this helps. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.